What's up guys, Phil here, one half of the Andrew and Phil Show, coming to you with another apartment shoot, which means at any given moment you might hear somebody doing laundry in another apartment, someone inexplicably dragging furniture upstairs, or even my refrigerator running. It's all just to spite me, that's the only reason it happens right when I'm trying to shoot every time, but put that out of your mind because I've got an exciting video for you. I don't think I need to explain to you guys that food and beverage companies take advantage of Super Bowl commercial slots to really bring their A-game, whether it's just a big budget star studded commercial or to unveil a new logo, a new slogan, or even a new product. And Pepsi's no different. They have a long history of uh, iconic Super Bowl commercials that have cemented themselves in pop culture and some even cementing themselves into the psyche of one young male viewer. I think there may be a common thread there. Anyway, 2019, Super Bowl 53, Patriots, Rams, Atlanta, Pepsi took a little bit of a different approach. Sure, they had their regular commercial, but in Atlanta at the stadium, they were sampling their newest product. Introducing Nitro Pepsi. Smooth, creamy, delicious. The first nitrogen-infused soda. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's just look at their promotional ad copy. Introducing Nitro Pepsi, the first ever nitrogen-infused cola. It's more than just a cola, it's an experience. The easy texture, the mesmerizing cascade of tiny bubbles, the silky, frothy foam head, the unapologetically Pepsi taste, its sparks connection and conversation, all made possible by a unique widget technology placed at the bottom of every can that creates a distinctly smooth and creamy texture straight from the first delicious sip. So basically this means they infuse it with nitrogen and it gives it a smoother, creamier finish. This widget technology is a similar thing that Guinness uses in their cans. And it has a small hole on one side of it. So whenever we dose liquid nitrogen inside that can and we rapidly seal it up, that liquid nitrogen evaporates, creating a huge amount of pressure. It forces a mixture of gas and liquid inside this little ball, which creates that potential energy inside the can. So whenever you open it and you hear that psh, that is this widget now forcing all that gas and liquid back outside it, creating huge amounts of activation inside the can. And that's where we get all that surge coming from. It's that release of energy. See, was that so hard to understand? I understood it. I just didn't want to explain it to you. So the nitrogen is supposed to give it a smoother, creamier texture. Now, is that good for soda? Is it going to make it taste flat? Is it removing all the things that make soda soda from Pepsi? Let's find out. Sparkle, sparkle. I have both flavors, and I'm going to find out. So yeah, they sampled it in 2019 at the Super Bowl, and then just went quiet. And people were asking, what happened to Nitro Pepsi? And they said, we'll release it when we're ready. So I just die. So here we are. We have soda that has instructions. And those instructions, according to Pepsi, are... Step one, you gotta chill it before you fill it. Step two, pour hard with a vengeance. Step three, admire and enjoy, or else. We'll start with the regular Pepsi. They've been chilled. Um, just gonna pop it open, do a hard pour, which is a 90 degree pour, and See how this goes. Ready? I feel like I'm gonna do it wrong for some reason. Hard pour, 90 degrees. Made a really satisfying sound when I opened that. It's got a very beer-like head on it, which obviously they're kind of going for, calling it a draft soda, using the widget technology like Guinness. So there you go. Smells like Pepsi. All right, bottoms up. Ooh, that is smooth and creamy. Kind of really like that. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay. All right. Now, I like this quite a bit, but I will say it does have a flatness to it that may be a big turnoff for some people. Um, it's To me, it's not the genuine flatness you'd get from a real flat soda where it kind of loses some of its sweetness, but it's definitely something to think about if you're going to try this. It's Keep it in mind. It's going to have that. Let's move on to the vanilla. All right, ready for that satisfying. Oh no. Hard pour. Bottoms up. It's a lot of foam. With that one, hmm, the vanilla flavor is a little more subtle on that one. Um, a little more subtle than your normal vanilla Pepsi, in my opinion. So I'm not sure I like the vanilla flavor as much. I think if you're going to have a flavored soda, just do the normal flavored soda. Don't try a draft flavored soda. I think the flatness that comes with this process is going to be a big turnoff to people. Um, especially as you get further and further away from that foamy head and you're stripping away the gimmick, it becomes more and more like a flat soda. Um, I mean, even now as I sip more of it, it it just doesn't have a long life, in my opinion. With these, all the fun is at the beginning. You get that satisfying sound. Um, you get the hard pour. You get that first smooth, easy drinking flavor right there. It's sweet. It's very good. I loved it right then. But once again, you're past that, you're left with basically a not quite flat Pepsi. So I say, if you're curious and you can find them, try them out. They're not expensive, and it's just a fun, um, harmless little experiment. It's real smooth, creamy. Goes down easy. It's like a an easy lover. She's an easy lover. She'll take your heart, but you won't feel it. So I'm going to finish these off. You guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've had these before, if you like them or just absolutely despise them. And thanks for watching. For those who think young.